It began by no made wine where the peaches grow. In my house, it's not much to talk about, but it's filled with love, it's grown in southern ground. Hi, everyone, Nerdy Hillbilly here, and, and I'm at Lee's Famous Chicken. Chicken. The Colonel has Go sent here on Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit mm. just right, and the radio. Let's try regular chicken. Mm. I say we we'll get an eight out of ten. Regular chicken, ten out of ten. That's good chicken. Overall, I had a great time at Lee's Famous Chicken. I would definitely go again in a heartbeat. The experience is great. The customer service is on point. I want to thank Colonel Anthony Sanders. Mm, now I see what Dr. Charles is talking about. Mm, awesome, delicious. Here we have the original chicken. Let's try it. Mmm. Now I see what Nerdy was saying about about this chicken. Mmm. Melts melts in my mouth. Holy moly! Now let's try the coleslaw. Mmm. The baked beans. How's those barbecue baked beans, bud? Very good. Very good. Here is the biscuit. I did not do the honey. I only did the butter. Let me try it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I would say for the spicy chicken, I'm going to give it a, se um, a 7 out of 10. And for the regular, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Texture, both chickens were good um, for the texture, but it had more of a mouth-watering feel to it. Um, and then I had the biscuit, and I'm going to give the biscuit an 8 out of 10. You got the texture? When the potato wedges, um, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10. Absolutely delicious. And what's the best part about this place is that it pays respect to Colonel Sanders' name. Oh, and the coleslaw, I give, um, I give a 6 out of 10 for that. Um, and the baked beans, I give a 7 out of 10.